Okay, which means I'm going to, all right. And so what we're going to do is go over Fair Lady Works at Shuttles. And I'm going to switch to the widescreen and make sure I don't trip over my bokeh. And find a good position here. And I may use this as a reference, okay? So I'll put this here, okay? So we're gonna start, okay, uh, with a single whip position. Now here, you shift the weight back. Left hand's underneath holding a ball, you turn the left foot all the way. Shift the weight back, keep that left knee bent. Cross foot step. As you shift the weight, on to the right, raise the left hand along your center line, 30 degree step. Fair lady works at shoulders, one. Shift the weight back, keep the knee bent, right foot, right hand holding the ball from underneath. Turn the left foot all the way in, so it's facing that way. Shift the weight back to the left, now this is harder. I want the toe of my right foot, and the hip opens, raise the right hand, and make sure the back foot turns in too. Here, keep the weight on the right, turn the toe out. You know, lower the hands, but left hands underneath holding a ball. On the toes of the left foot, 30 degree step. Third lady works at shuttles. Three. Now shift the weight back. Turn the left foot all the way in. Shift the weight back. Raise left hand, heel toe step, 30 degree step, third lady versus four. So we, we needed to cover that one because uh, in the actual class, it got, it just wasn't recorded. So I just want to go through this again. Then we'll go through the, uh, the movements we covered last time, which is the end sequence. Okay. Uh, A single whip position, but keep this knee bent. See if I go this way, keep this knee bent, then I can turn so the toe is facing all the way there. I can shift the weight back. You notice how I'm keeping the knee bent. This is a cross foot step. You notice how this knee stays bent. Okay, I'm gonna I'll be on the toes of my back foot, hip opens. 30 degree step, heel, toe. Knee covers toe, back foot, toe turns in. So it's, uh, right? Now this is the big turn. So notice how I shift the weight back, I keep the right knee bent. Left toe turns in, so it's facing that direction. Shift the weight back, keep that bent. On the toes here, it's a harder step. Open from the hip, heel, toe, back foot, toe turns in. Knee covers toe. 30 degrees, here. Transition from two to three, keep the weight here, turn the toe out slightly for balance. Now I'm on the toes of the left foot. I'm gonna take a 30 degree step, heel, toe, Back foot will turn back in a bit. Knee covers toe. Okay, now I'm going to shift the weight back. Notice how I, instead of doing that, I keep the knee bent. That allows me to turn the toe all the way in towards that direction. I shift the weight back here, but notice how again I keep the knee bent. Toes, right foot. Hip opens. Heel toe. Back foot. Toe in, and you cover this toe here. Okay, so that's just a rough guideline for the, the feet. Third lady works at shuttles. Now, I'm going to go through the hands as well. So we'll start out. Shift the weight back. Left hand holds the ball. It's the other hand, but 
as I do the movement, this hand that's raised becomes the upper hand. Then I'm going to lower the hands to the right hands under, so it's going to hold the ball. Now it's covering the central line as you turn. Heel toe step, it's the upper hand. Lower the hands, left hand is under, so it holds the ball to my knee. Bring the right toe out, keep the knee bent. So the lower hand is the hand that becomes the upper hand as we change from one corner to the next. Now, right hand holds the ball. Then right hand, as we step into the fourth, becomes the upper hand. Okay. So that's Fair Lady works at shovels for the four corners. Now, uh, from the fourth, lower the hands again, left hands underneath. So holding the ball from under. Keep the weight down, knee bent on the right, on the toes of the left, 45 degree step. Now, turn the right shoulder in just a bit. We have Word off left, weight stays on the left, right hand holds the ball. You're on the toes of the right foot, weight stays down on the left. 30 degree step, you repeat, push upward. Pull back, press forward, and push. Now here. Weight stays down here. That allows me to turn that toe pretty much all the way in so it's facing that direction. Shift the weight back to keep the knee bent on the toes of the left foot. Turn the waves. Step. We repeat single whip. Make sure back foot turns in. Okay. So that's the Fair Lady Birds of Shuttle sequence. I'll move back so I have the head on the screen. Okay, so we've got a lot to cover. So what I'm going to do now is just just for the sake of it. Anybody with a question on that Fair Lady works at shuttles sequence? Yes, Cliff. No. Okay. No. Okay. You don't have to have one, that's good. So we're gonna move into the last sequence. Okay, and this one's very challenging. Okay. Okay, so I got full screen here. And it starts out with a single word. Turn the right foot out. Now you're going to shift the weight back. And forward. Single whip and creeps down. Right. And pull from this angle. Foot out. Facing that direction. Shift the weight back. Don't just go down to where you're comfortable. If you're comfortable here, that's fine. Over a period of time, the hips will open. Now shift the weight forward. And here, now turn that foot in. Turn this foot out. Two fists. Bring the right hand and right foot forward. Right hand goes underneath the left and the fists turn palm down. This is called step up to form seven stars. Okay. And Put in, put out, 
Grip both fists. And this is about chest level. Since so some of you kind of like the uh, this angle. So, and creeps down, step up to form seven stars. And from this angle, open the head, hands, palms up, retreat, step back. Just like the pulse the monkey, we did that. So, go back on the diagonal, toe, then heel. Open the palms. Now here you're gonna keep this leg bent, bring this foot in, and you're forming a ink bow position, left toe, weight back on the right. Hands go down to the waist level. Retreat to ride the tiger. This is very similar. The sword spreads its wings, but notice the hands are out here and out of here. Same level, but wider. Okay. Treat to ride the tiger. Again, I like the names. Names really stimulate my imagination. Okay. So let's turn it out. Shift the way back. Now. Keep the left knee bent, foot in, foot out, both fists, weight is back, step up to form seven stars, retreat to ride the tiger, okay? So, first couple of movements, and Next, we go into the turning kick, which is for most people. I see him. I have my good days and bad days with it. So, okay. One thing about reading O's book, he struggles a lot. He's very, very, has a lot of humility. He says, sometimes I'm just lost. But he has his basics to go back to, to find his balance, and usually finds it at a deeper level. That's what champions do because we're all going to struggle. Another energy or another dimension is coming in. This one goes like this, so being very easy there. Because this starts to fight itself. In the Tai Chi, uh, there's no okay. It's just you and you. Okay. <laughs> or me and me, all right? So, Okay. Step up to form seven stars. Retreat to ride the tiger. Now turn. Okay, so we'll break it up into two. The turn and the horizontal kick. Ah, okay, now the turn. You're turning on that back leg, you keep the weight on it, but obviously you don't lock it or you're gonna twist your knee. So I can have my weight here with the help of the other foot. Turn, but my weight is... See, what I don't wanna do is shift my weight here to turn this foot, because when I spin, I'm going to be out there all the time. So I really want the weight stays here. The weight stays here, the knee stays bent. Now right about here, you're the center, the leg is the circle. You're on the heel, ingo posture, about 30 to 45 degrees to your left. 
Okay, so try that a couple of times. Weight stays down. What about you? Toes turn in the back corner. That's a hard one. Keep your weight back, but you turn on the right leg. The leg swings around. You're facing the corner. Left heel, weight still back on the right. Okay. So uh, the 30 movement form is like everything up until that last sequence. You know, you go from kindergarten to grade school, then all of a sudden you go to graduate school for the last couple of moves. I'm sorry about that. I could teach it easier, but I kind of find that it's important to do that. Okay. So. Now, I'm trying to ride the tiger. If I do this, my hands out there tend to pull me out. So I bring the hands in. Left hand covers about waist level. Right hand above the forehead and out. Then the hands come in, swing. Now shift the weight. Left hand comes up to right. Now the hands go across the body. The right foot goes to the left side. Keep the knee bent. It's a horizontal kick. Horizontal kick. Horizontal. Contact surface of side of the foot. Oh. Easier saying somebody is hassling you, you brush them off, boom to the knee. That's one application. Somebody's coming a little higher, you have to move a little bit, and boom to the kidney. Okay. It's not a classic karate kick. So, you know, that, that's more side kick, horizontal kick. Okay, so let's see if we can put that together. Don't do the turn too fast. Likewise, the kick itself. Don't rush it. And you can make some sound, or you can do it. Okay. Let's try it from this angle. The weight stays back on the right foot. And try it from the same way. Hands go to here. They go back to here. First, I don't just naturally put that there, put that foot. There's balance right there. Okay, let's do that one more time. And ah. Okay, now, palm upright, 45 degree step, shoot tiger with bow. Like you're pinching yourself in the forehead, but don't, that's the position of it. 
no steer point. Shoot tiger with bow. Shift the weight back. Turn your right hand, palm up. You're on the heel here. Left hand leads your right waist level. Cross with your right foot. Hands come up in a circle. Now right, right, right leads the left. Nose to height goes to here. This is now about nose to height. Right hand, chest level, left hand, elbow level. It's called step up, carry, and punch. So let's go through from the beginning. There's <coughs> like two more moves, which are not hard. And it creeps down. Step up to form seven stars. Treat to ride the tiger. Uh -huh. And goes on the kick. Shoot tiger with bow. Step up, parry, and punch. Now, left hand under right elbow, open the right fist, palm up. Nose navel. <coughs> Takes the knee, now and close up. Keep the knee bent, shift the weight back to the right, turn the left foot in. Hands are forming a circle. Right across, right hand underneath. Bring the palm facing chest level. And that's the conclusion. Okay. So what we're gonna do today we we'll review that, the last lesson we covered last class. Then we're going to go through Fair Lady Works of Shovels into that. And I sort of have to go a little early today, so we're going to end after we do that. Okay. So, um, One. Two. Three. Four. Forty-five degree step, board off left. Thirty degree step, push up board right side. And three single whip. And creeps down. Okay. 
and step up for seven stars. Retreat to ride the tiger. Horizontal kick. Shoot tiger with bow. Step up, carry, and punch. And close up. And conclusion. Okay. I have something that I need to address, so what we're going to do is kind of close it with that today. I'll uh, I'll make sure that gets posted online. We'll go into the in sequence in, in more detail <laughs> next next broadcast. Okay. So um, this is for the Tai Chi. So we do that, and this is for the Aikido. Okay. So we will see you today's what? Today's Friday, which means we'll probably see you tomorrow morning. Hopefully. Okay, take care. Bye. Thank you, Sam. Thank you, David.